So I got the One UI 4 update on my Galaxy Tab S7 and I thought, let me share a couple of features that I think you guys can use and apply every day. First thing, when you apply a wallpaper now, it picks up colors from your wallpaper and creates a theme that you can then apply onto your Galaxy Tab S7. And the other thing is you can apply the same color palette to your icons and not all icons, just the Samsung app icons like gallery, my files, email, just all of those icons, which are actually <laughs> quite a few. Okay, let's talk about the next one, which has to do with multi-window experience. So up until now, you could open up an app in pop-up view, you could move it around, and you could resize the app window to better suit your preference. But now, if you tap on it, there's a new option, which allows you to pin the window options on the top right corner, like minimize, maximize, and close, just like you have it in Windows or Mac OS. You could, so yeah, you can still move it around, but you've got these options where you could just, you know, collapse it into a bubble, or you could just close it, or you could actually just go back to what it was originally. Next, if you already have a premium membership to YouTube, then you know that you can hit the home button and you can still have the video play in the background. But now, with that picture in picture, you can set the preview window size to a more custom size. And this was not possible earlier. So a lot more flexibility. So, you know, you can put it to the side, open whatever app you want to, do your thing, and then get that window back. And then you can just maximize it to whatever size you like. Now, if you see on the right side, I've got this translucent accessibility floating bar, uh, which is available pretty much on any app that I open. And I can access it very easily to perform a few accessibility actions like go into extra dim mode, uh, high contrast mode, mute everything, or just transcribe. Earlier, these options were not available in a floating bar style. But now if you go into accessibility, go into advanced settings, then accessibility button, you can switch to floating over other apps. Yeah, and that's new. And then of course, you can go into select actions, and you can choose any four actions over here that you want. And those four actions will then show up in that floating window on the right side. And you can set the transparency of that floating window as well. One of the best things about Android 12 One UI 4 update is how they've organized and displayed widgets. So now they're clubbed by the app. So you can see how many widgets are there for a specific app and you're you know, displayed in this nice grid manner. So you can actually preview that widget and the preview shows up in the same color scheme that is applicable uh, at that particular moment. So you know how it's gonna look on your home screen. And yeah, it's just how it's done. It's really nice, it's very easy to find. And if you've got like a ton of them, you've actually got a search bar that you can then use to quickly narrow it down to whatever you're looking for. With One UI 4 update, Samsung has also given you more flexibility in how you choose to share something. So let's say I wanna share this image. It gives me the most recent or the most used apps, but I could go into more than into edit and I can select handpick apps that I think are going to be the most useful for me most of the time. So for example, I do share majority files over Drive, OneDrive or Gmail and I upload to photos from my tablet. So only those will show up the first time and everything else is inside more. Now let's say you're watching a movie or playing music and you're connected to your phones as well as speakers. You can click on media output from the lock screen itself and change the output of the sound. So you can choose whether you want sound coming into your earphones or from the speakers or from the tablet's speakers and you can adjust their volume right from the lock screen. But you're gonna have to go and enable this. So go into settings, then lock screen, then into widgets. Make sure that music is turned on. That's the only way it would show up on your lock screen. But you're not yet done because you still have to activate the controls on the lock screen. So when you're playing music, go back into media output, tap on the overflow menu on the top right, go into settings and then activate use while tablet is locked. And that's it. Now, these were major things, but there are a few more things uh, that I wanna quickly touch upon. So if you go into notification tray, tap on the plus icon, you'll see a couple of new things like extra dim, camera access, and microphone access. So if you want to, in an instant, shut off any access to your camera or to your microphone, you can just tap on one of these toggles and it will just completely shut off any and all access to that sensor. Uh, you could go into extra dim, if you really wanna slide down the brightness levels, let's say you're you know, in your bed, it's nighttime, and the light is hurting your eye. So yeah, you could go into extra dim, go into details, and you can increase the intensity of that dimness as well. In fact, it can get so dark 
that you may not even be able to see anything on the screen. So be careful with that. Also, if you go into settings, then into privacy, you'll see a couple of new options here. And that's because, you know, Android 12 has added all of that and so has One UI 4. And it basically tells you which all permissions are being used by which all apps. And you've got more control over that. So you can quickly uh, withdraw those permissions if you want to. If you see an app that is using permissions that you don't want it to use because it doesn't make sense, you can completely withdraw. So you can see a list of apps that, that are using permissions, or you can see a list of permissions that are being used by apps. And by the way, you can obviously turn off camera and microphone access from here itself. But yeah, privacy is a big one in Android 12 and hence in One UI 4. Now, let's say you copied a password or your address or your credit card number and you paste it in an app. Your clipboard is accessed, right? If another app is trying to access that clipboard, you can get an alert. You just have to turn this setting on. It's under privacy again. Just make sure you do that. And this last one is sort of a more well-known one, but if you do tap on the clock on the lock screen, you get access to all of these widgets on the lock screen itself. So, you know, you can quickly start a voice note or a recording if you want. Let's say you're in a meeting and you quickly want to start one, you can do that. And you can reorder them. You can disable some, enable some by going into settings and just, you know, doing your thing over here. All right, that's it guys on the One UI 4 update, the Android 12 upgrade of your Galaxy Tab S7, S7 Plus, and hopefully the S7 FE soon. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one.